So you can see that there is a boy who wants to travel to his house. This is known as the initial position where the boy is standing and the final position is the house where he wants to go. So you can see that there are different paths through which he can travel and reach to his final destination. The shortest path here being part C. This shortest path that connects the initial position to the final position is the displacement. And the path A, B, C, D and E will give us the distance. So you can see that since he can travel through different ways from his initial to the final position, so all of these will individually give us the distance. Hence, distance is the complete path which is traveled by an object and displacement is the shortest distance which is measured from the initial to the final position of an object, which is C here. Now let's solve a question uh, related to this so that the concept is much clear to you. There is a boy who, who travels from point A till point D in and back to A in a clockwise form. We have to find distance and displacement for various cases. So now for A to B, the distance would be 3 meters and the displacement since the initial position and the final position is same as that of the distance, so it would be 3 meters. For A to C, A to C in a clockwise direction, so distance is AB plus BC, that is 8 meters. And for the displacement, the initial position is A and the final position is C. So what I'll do is I'll connect these two points with a straight line. So I'll get a right angle triangle, which is right angle at B. We all know the Pythagoras theorem. AC square equals AB square plus BC square. And this will give us under root of 34, which would be give us 5.83. Next case, A to D. For A to D, the person will travel from A and he'll go till D. So my distance would be AB plus BC plus CD. That would be 11 meters. And the displacement would be, I'll be connecting the initial position A to the final position D. And I'll get the displacement as 5 meters. Next case is A to A. So for A to A, the person is coming back to his initial position. So we'll be calculating, we'll be adding up all the distance that he travels for the distance. That is AB plus BC plus CD plus DA, which is 8 plus 8, 16 meters. And for the displacement, since the initial and the final position both are same, so my displacement would be 0 meters. Let's check our answer. I hope it's clear to you. Next, we have a question that says, can displacement be more than, less than or equal to the distance traveled? So... As you can see that it can never be less uh, than the um, it can never be more than the distance traveled. Why? So displacement is the shortest path that is traveled. So it can be less than the distance traveled or it can be equal to the distance traveled as we can see in the case A to B. But it can never be more than the distance traveled. Now let's solve a question. So here we have a right angle triangle which is right angled at B. Now we have to see that the cyclist, he goes from first A to B. The distance traveled would be 4 meter. The displacement would be 4 meter as well because the initial and the final position is same as that of the distance. For B to C, the distance traveled would be 3 meters and the displacement would also be 3 meters. Now for A to C, since he is going in the clockwise direction, so for A to C, my distance would be 4 plus 3, that is 7 meters, and the displacement would be the hypotenuse C. Now how do you find the hypotenuse? So to find the hypotenuse, we would do AB square plus BC square is equal equals AC square. So that would be 16 plus 9, that will give us 25, and the square root of 25 is 5 meters. So the displacement would be 5 meters. I hope the answer is correct for all of your uh, all of your uh, questions, all of the parts. Now, next we have a circle. The radius of the circle is eight meter. So the different cases are one by four, half, three by four, and full. So what I'll do is at one by four I'll take the point as A. At half I'll take the point as B. At three by four I'll take the point as C. And for the full circle I'll take it as D. So that it's easy for us. Now the distance traveled for one fourth would be this distance, right? Now to find this distance, but since this distance is actually he's covering the perimeter, this outside boundary. Now we all know that the perimeter of the whole circle is 2 pi r 
and we have the radius as 8 meter so the perimeter of the whole circle would be 16 pi now what we are going to do is that we will find the distance for each and every point now for one fourth of the circle that is still point a we will divide it by 4 so we will get it as 4 pi for half of the circle we will divide it by 2 that will give us 8 pi for 3 fourths we will multiply it by 3 by 4 which will give us 12 pi and for this full circle we have it as 16 pi so the distance for the whole circle is covered now for the displacement we can see that for one fourth of the circle what we need to find is we need to find the hypotenuse so we have this distance as 8 meter and similarly we'll have this radius as 8 meters as well and so we can easily find the hypotenuse of this side now for half of the circle the displacement would be the initial position is d and the final position is b so what i'll do is i'll connect the both now this radius is 8 meter and similarly this radius would be 8 meter and i'll get the total displacement as 16 meters now what you don't need to forget is the unit if you ever forget the units in your question paper you'll lose your half marks now for the three-fourth of the circle the person is coming to this point c as we did in for point A, similarly we'll be doing for point C. So I'll be connecting these two points and as done earlier, this is 8 meter and this would also be 8 meters. So we can easily find the hypotenuse. For the full circle, the person is coming back to the D position. So when he, the person is coming back to the D position, since the initial and the final position is the same, so we'll have the displacement as 0 meters. I hope this is clear to you. Please do log into the site.